Arthur's Funny Money by Lillian Hoban. It was Saturday morning. Violet was counting numbers on her fingers. Arthur was counting the money in his piggy bank. He counted $3.78. Arthur, said Violet, do you know numbers? Yes, I do, said Arthur. I am working with numbers right now. Well, said Violet, if I have five peas and you take three and give me back two, how many peas will I have? All of them, said Arthur. I don't like peas, so I wouldn't take any. I know you don't like peas, said Violet, but I am trying to do a number problem. Will you help me? I have my own number problem, said Arthur. He turned his piggy bank sheets. He turned his piggy bank upside down and shook it, but no more money came out. I don't have five dollars to buy a t-shirt and matching cap, said Arthur. Everyone on our frisbee team has to buy them. They have far out frisbees printed on them in blue, and they light up in the dark. Wilma's big sister is running errands to make money, said Violet. She wants to buy a new catcher's mitt. I don't like running errands, said Arthur. You could wash cars, said Violet. The junior high kids always wash cars to make money. That's what they are doing this afternoon. Well, if they are washing cars, then I can't, said Arthur. There would be too many of us in the car wash business. I know, said Violet. You could wash bikes. Lots of kids would pay to have their bikes washed. Great, said Arthur. I could get the rust off the wheels and I could shine up the frames. I could make lots of money. That's no fair, said Violet. I told you about the bike wash, but you never told me about the peas. I will, said Arthur, but first help me set up business. Violet went into the kitchen. She put a pail and a brush. She got a pail and a brush. She got a cloth and a sponge. Then she took them to the back steps. Arthur was making a sign. It said, bikes washed, good as new, 25 cents. There is no soap or Brillo, said Violet. We have to buy some. Arthur put his money in a bag and they went to the store. Arthur bought a box of soap for 53 cents and a box of Brillo for 27 cents. I hope lots of the kids want their bikes washed, said Violet. When they got home, Norman was waiting with his little brother and their dog, Bubbles. How much is it for a tricycle? asked Norman's little brother. The same as for a bike, said Arthur. But a trike is only half as big as a bike, said Norman. You should charge half as much. Well, said Arthur, it's half as big, but it has more wheels. Tell you what, said Norman, I will give you 38 cents for my bike and his trike. How's that for a deal? Arthur thought about it. He opened the box of soap. He filled the pail with water. Then he counted on his fingers and thought some more. Look what Bubbles is doing, said Norman's little brother. Bubbles was eating the soap out of the box and he was drinking water out of the pail. That's why we call him Bubbles, said Norman. He ate most of my soap, yelled Arthur. You better pay me back. I will give you 42 cents for washing the bike in the trike, said Norman quickly. You'll be able to buy lots more soap. I don't want to buy more soap, said Arthur. I want to buy a Frisbee t-shirt and a matching cap. Bubbles is eating Brillo for dessert, said Violet. Get that dog out of here, shouted Arthur. He's spoiling my business. You have to advertise if you want business, said Norman. Tell you what, I'll tell you what I'll do for you. You wash my bike and put a sign on it saying, Arthur, wash me. I'll ride all over town and get you lots of business. Me too, said Norman's brother. It won't cost you anything, said Norman, and you'll make lots of money. So Arthur washed the bike and the trike. He got the rest off the wheels and he shined up the frames. Jeez. Really? 
Then he made two signs and put one on each of them. Okay, said Norman, we're ready to ride. He gave Arthur 42 cents and, he g and his little brother wrote, oh my goodness, friends. He gave Arthur 42 cents and he and his little brother rode off. Arthur put the 42 cents in the bag with the rest of his money. You hold the money for me, he said to Violet, and write down every time I get some. When it gets to 525, I'm quitting. What's the extra 25 cents for, asked Violet. For licorice twists, said Arthur. I just love licorice twists. He gave Violet some paper and a pencil. Now, said Arthur, write down 378. That's how much I had to start. Under that, write, take away 53 cents and take away 27 cents. That's for the soap and the Brillo. Violet wrote down all the numbers. Now add on 42 cents, said Arthur, and that's how much I have now. How much is that, asked Violet. Let's see, said Arthur, and he started to count on his fingers. I thought you said you knew numbers, said Violet. I do, said Arthur. Look, there's a parade at the corner and it's coming this way. That's not a parade, said Violet. It's Wilma and her cousin Peter and his friend John. Oh, I'm thinking they want their bikes washed. Wilma was wheeling a dog buggy and a rocking horse in it, and she was pulling a, stro a stroller. Peter was driving a fire engine and pulling a wagon with a sled in it. John was riding a scooter and carrying a skateboard. We saw the sign, said Wilma, and we came to get washed. Arthur only washes bikes, said Violet. No, I don't said Arthur quickly, and he rolled up his sleeves. He put more water in the pail, and he put in the rest of the soap. Wow, said Arthur, I'm going to clean up. This will make me lots of money. Violet got her pencil and paper ready. Wilma's cousin Peter was whispering something to Wilma. Wait a minute, said Wilma. We thought you washed for free. For free, yelled Arthur. Can't you read that sign? Wilma's cousin whispered to her again. The sign on Norman's bike didn't say anything about money, said Wilma. It's against the law to tell a lie on a sign. I didn't tell a lie on a sign, said Arthur. The sign right here says bikes washed 25 cents, and that's what I'm washing. No scooters or doll buggies or anything else. Arthur pulled his sleeves down. <laughs> Jeez. Jace is very interested in this book, friends. Peter pulled Wilma's sleeve and whispered some more. Okay, said Wilma, <laughs> we'll go get our bikes. You can wash them for 25 cents a piece if you do the rest for free. Arthur thought about it. He looked at the empty box of soap. He stirred the water in the pail. Tell you what, said Arthur, throw in a little extra so I can buy more soap and I will do it. How's that for a deal? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so. so Wilma and Peter and John got their bikes. Arthur scrubbed the wheels and he shined the frames. He washed the buggy, the stroller, and the rocking horse for Wilma. She gave Arthur 34 cents. He washed the fire engine, the sled, and the wagon for Peter. He gave Arthur 36 cents. He washed the scooter and the skateboard for John. He gave Arthur 33 cents. Violet put all the money in the bag, and she wrote down all the numbers. After Wilma and Peter and John left, Arthur said, Now let's get more soap so I can make more money. Arthur and Violet took the bag of money and went to the store. Arthur got a box of soap and counted out 53 cents. Sorry, son, said the grocer. This soap costs 64 cents. Oh, look at that rule breaker, friends. Grosh, grocer. You don't see S-H. But it was 53 cents this morning, said Arthur. That's right, said the grocer, but the price went up. You can't get soap at this morning's pr price this afternoon. That's no fair, said Arthur. Maybe they still have it at this morning's price at some other store, said Violet. Arthur and Violet went down the street. They passed the hardware store and the fruit and vegetable store. Then they came to the general store. There was a t-shirt and matching cap in the window. In the t-shirt, the t-shirt said far out frisbees on it in blue. A sign said window samples reduced. 
Maybe you don't have to buy more soap to make more money, said Violet. Maybe you have enough right now. Arthur and Violet went into the store. How much is the sample in the windows? Asked Arthur. Four twenty-five, said the sales lady. Do you have enough money? I don't know, said Arthur. I have to count it. He poured his money out of the bag. It will take a long time to count all that, said the lady. No, it won't, said Violet. Arthur knows numbers, and I have the numbers written down. She gave Arthur the paper with the numbers on it. Let's see, said Arthur. 378, take away 53 cents, take away 27 cents, add 42 cents, add 34 cents, add 36 cents, add 33 cents. Hmm, that's 443, said the lady. You have enough for the t-shirt and cap and 18 cents left over. Wow, said Arthur. I'll take the t-shirt and cap. And do you have any licorice twists? Oh, look, that's another rule breaker. Licorice. Yes, said the lady. They are five cents a piece or six for a quarter. How many do I get for 18 cents? Asked Arthur. You'll see, said the lady. She winked at Violet. Violet looked at Arthur. Arthur, she said. You said you knew numbers. Here are five licorice twists, said the lady. I'll give you two extra for good luck. Arthur, said Violet, if I have five peas and you take three and give me back two. Wait, said Arthur. Change the peas to licorice twists and I will help you. Okay, said Violet. How many licorice twists will I have? Hold, you, hold out your hand, said Arthur. He gave Violet the five licorice twists. Then he took away three and gave back two. You would have four licorice twists, said Arthur, but that only leaves me with one. You do know numbers, Arthur, said Violet, and she started to eat her licorice twists. Arthur looked at the one he had left. I got mixed up, he said. You would only have two. I know, said Violet, because if you took three licorice twists, you wouldn't give back any. You just love licorice twists. So Violet and Arthur shared the licorice twists, and they each had two and a half. The end.